Well, I am outside of a fix and list deal that we're working on in Aurora. You know, we finally got a far enough through all the ones that we owned that we're really focusing on the fix and list deals now. So I do a quick walkthrough so you can kind of see what we're doing. This is a pretty heavy one. It's uh, all new flooring, painted everything, new light fixtures. Um, here in the kitchen, we took out or we opened up this wall. It used to just be an opening here, but now it's you know, much wider. All new cabinets, countertops. We'll put a wood panel across that. And it'll be for um, you know, bar stools to sit up there. But we'll carpet this back area. It'll be like another kind of sunroom, living room area. Um, we're gonna replace all this carpet. We'll put new carpet in all the bedrooms. In this particular neighborhood and with the current condition of this bathroom, we decided not to put in new flooring and a new vanity and new tile. We kind of left this bathroom alone uh, just because this particular neighborhood doesn't demand super high-end finishes. You know, the top end comps aren't super high-end and same thing with this master area. We're gonna leave it alone because it's good enough to get us to the top of the market. So sometimes it's smart not to renovate everything. You know, you have to look at the pictures of all the comparable properties that are selling at the top high end. And uh, if, if the fixtures and you know, bathrooms are as good in your house as those, then you know, don't rip it out because <laughs> you won't get the money back. But uh, the nice kitchen was really gonna push us up to where we need to be. So we did spend the money there. Here in the basement on this house, we drywalled the ceiling. It was just open joist, so you can see the new drywall there. We haven't painted down here yet, so we got the old colors. We still have to put a soffit around, which is your framing with drywall, around the ductwork there. We added this bedroom, and the reason we put it here, you know, this was just a big open space, but we added this bedroom because we had an existing, you can't see it because the masking is up from the drywall texture, but there was a, an existing egress window here. So it was the perfect spot to stick a bedroom and it'll, it'll be conforming. So now we changed this house into from a, see one, two, three, from a four bedroom into a five bedroom. Now it's a five bedroom, three bath home, which will help get the top of the market. So anyway, that's what, uh, that's one of the houses we're up to today. I'm gonna go check out another one that we own, a different cruise in that we're gonna try to hit the market on in about a week. It's the last one we've got to finish the renovation on. Uh, and then we've got, I've got two other properties that I still own, unfortunately. One's under contract, and the other one uh, is a high-end house in the high lens, high-end house in the high lens. Uh, that's not under contract yet. It just hit the market last week, but there's some interested people. We're just hoping to get it under contract. And uh, getting it under contract is really not good enough anymore because it's my opinion, what's going on right now is people still think that at the end of April, we're gonna go back to work and that the market is going to uh, go back to normal. I think that's kind of the popular belief. Here, I'll get away from the noise. <laughs> that's the popular belief. That's not my belief. Uh, I think what's gonna happen is at the end of April, we're gonna go back to work or maybe it'll be longer. It doesn't really matter whether it's you know, the end of April or not. The outcome is gonna be the same. At some point we're gonna go back to work and the credit bubble will have popped and people are not gonna all get their jobs back. Some people will, but some people won't. I think uh, business owners are gonna be cautious. We're not just gonna go back to business as usual. I think uh, there's gonna be a big contraction in the market and it's really gonna hurt things. Uh, so that's when the housing market I think is gonna take the biggest hit. Right now people are kinda optimistic that things are gonna be okay still, which is why it's a great time to sell. I wouldn't be waiting till we go back to work to sell your properties. You wanna sell them now. Get rid of them before the general public realizes that this is not gonna go back to normal. You can get in front of it, try to drop the price if you need to. The loss that you're gonna take now is, you know, they say in the banking world that your first loss is often your best loss. I think that definitely applies here. Drop the price if needed. Uh, get your houses sold 
sold now before the general public realizes uh, that our credit bubble has popped and that we're going to go into a recession or hopefully not depression but at the very least a recession and it's going to bring house prices down so that's my two cents worth i don't have any insider information i might be wrong um i'm an expert at flipping houses i'm not a master e e economic i'm not an economist right but from everything i've studied and and from my life experience that i just shared with you my best guess so take take it for for uh, for what it is and I wish you all the best of luck. I'll show you this house again when it's all done. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day. See you in the next video.